Following the cabinet reshuffle, the former Natural Resources, Environment and Climate Change Ministry has now been divided into two new ministries. One taken by the Deputy Prime Minister, Dato Sri Fadilah Yusuf, the other by the former minister in charge of the ministry, Nick Nazmi Nick Ahmad. Amlir Ayat, president of Eco Night, shares his views on the move. The most important thing right now whether we break them up into two or three or just maintain them into one, is coordination and also communication between the various agencies. Every agency is related to another. For example, you're talking about the Department of Forestry, Department of Irrigation and Drainage, uh, and also agencies which are involved in climate change. These are all interrelated. A lot of policies cannot be taken up properly because of the lack of adequate com communication between all these agencies. So if we want these ministries to work, then not only the government agencies, the departments, but also the ministers need to communicate with each other so that we'll be able to come up with sustainable development and, and sustainable utilization of resources. Dato Sri Fadila Yusuf will be taking on the Energy Transition and Public Utilities Ministry alongside his duties as Deputy Prime Minister and being in charge of Sabah and Sarawak affairs. Amlir outlines the importance of engaging with environmental NGOs and other stakeholders as he helms the new portfolio. I have seen uh, the minister doing some good work in the, his previous ministry and I'm sure he can do similarly in this new ministry. And I hope YB Padilla will also open up his office to meet the various stakeholders from the various parts of the countries because the challenges are increasing. For example, the water management issues, human wildlife conflict, which relate to his ministry, even though he might not uh, be directly involved with that. So he has to be in constant communication with the people on the ground. This is very important so that he can carry out his duty as effective and as efficient as possible. He has a huge commitment to make with regards to climate change. Meanwhile, Amlir called for Natural Resources and Environmental Sustainability Minister Nick Nasmi Ning Ahmad to focus on water and forestry management in the coming year. If we can solve the water issue, for example, and in an integrated manner, then we may be able to solve a lot of other issues because water unites a lot of other natural resources. And in the same line, we have to also take care of our forest uh, management so that we can ensure not only the biodiversity, but also the water quality and water quantity will be sufficient and adequate for people's consumption. Water is number one. And I believe that it should be the leading nature resource to, to guide the management of other resources.